What's going on, Mixers? One of the biggest questions I get is, where do I get my VG from? And what's the difference between one brand over another? Does it really matter? Well, in this video, I'm going to knock it down for you. So let's get right into it. What's going on guys? I am John from JFM Development. Today I am going to go over two different brands of VG that are widely used in the DIY community and go over why I think one's better than the other. I'm going to go over price. I'm going to go over all of that. So first, let me start with this. This one over here is from Liquid Barn. This is a very raved after VG, okay? A lot of people trust it. A lot of people say it's the best. It does have a good name. DIY or die, Wayne Walker always touts going to Liquid Barn. But when you're going to Liquid Barn, at least when it comes to this quantity, you're going to be paying at least 50 bucks after shipping. The price I got was like 50 and change. I think it was uh, $50.76. So again, that's going to vary a little bit depending on where you live and shipping costs and all that. But so it's 33 bucks, then 50 it ends up going. It's like 16 bucks for shipping. So it ends up being 50 bucks. Then over here on the right, you have Essential Depot, which is literally half the price. It costs $24.99 on Amazon, and you get prime shipping with it. So in other words, if you're a prime customer, you don't have to pay for shipping. So it's $24.99, and that's it. Now, this is the debate when it comes to the VG. A lot of people like the Liquid Barn VG. I love the Liquid Barn VG, but it does cost more. And then there's the Essential Depot where you got one side, One a lot of people saying, hey, the Essential Depot VG is great. There's no difference, and it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper. And then you got half the people saying, well, no, it's not as good as Liquid Barn. It's not as good as other VG carriers. Well, I wanted to put that to the test. Basically, I have made the same exact recipe, a shake and vape recipe, and I know exactly how this recipe tastes and how good it is and how good it always is. Now, let me add, I've also used another VG before. I've used uh, Nicotine River's VG, and literally, it was no difference between uh, Nicotine River and Liquid Barn. So I'm kind of thinking it's going to be the same with this. And I figured if I'm going to have links in my video promoting this, I want to have a test because I don't see how there could possibly be a difference between these two VGs. But we'll just have to wait and see. So this is my Airhead recipe using the Liquid Barn VG. This is my Airhead recipe using the Essential Depot VG. But first, before we get into that, I want to see if there's any difference in consistency. Okay, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the difference in consistency. I'm going to see if one is thicker than the other. Now, this isn't going to be the most scientific of tests. This is just between me and you to see if you can make a better decision when buying a VG. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drip. I'm going to grab some uh, VG and both of these from both of these and pour it into here and see if it's thick, how thick it comes up and all that. That's just to get a little bit more information before we actually vape on it. So first in here is is the Liquid Barn VG. So it's already in here. I don't have to go into that big bottle. For this one, I will though. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit. Shouldn't have to take too much. That should be enough. Okay, so I can get on camera. Just looking at the drops and how they bead. You can't really see that, can you? I'm gonna have to change the cameras. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how this beads, how slowly it goes. 
See if you can gauge how thick it is that way. So that's the liquid barn. I'm going to keep some in there and I'm going to go back to it. The liquid barn will be on the left. And now I'm going to gather some from the essential depot. Here's the essential depot. To me, the essential depot actually kind of seems thicker. Okay, so this one right here is the liquid barn one, and this one right here is the essential depot. To me, now that I'm looking at it, they seem very close. All right, so the consistency, let me go back to the other cam. Okay, so I'm trying to test the consistency of it. As you can see, it doesn't seem like there is much of a difference. They both seem very thick. Now, one of the arguments I have heard of Essential Depot compared to Liquid Barn is that there is more water content in uh, Essential Depot compared to brands like Liquid Barn. But as you can see here, that doesn't seem like the case. They seem very thick, and that's how you know if there's more water content if it's not as thick as the other one. So, I mean, to me, I, I just don't see it. They both seem like they're going up the same rate. The drops both seem as thick. I mean, it's hard to get it exactly matched up, but... To me, I don't see a difference. So, the VG argument with that, I don't see it. I'm just trying to see it. This says it's a, uh, the Liquid Barn uh, VG says it's 99.7% pure. I'm not sure if there'll be a label on here. Also right here, it says minimum purity, 99.7% pure. So, they both claim to have the same purity. So, I don't think that that's a factor. So, if that's the case, and this one cost half the price, considering you're getting free shipping if you have Amazon Prime, so far, I hate to say it because I love Liquid Barn, but when it comes to buying in bulk, so far, this one is the good deal. Now... That's another issue I wanted to raise, is about buying VG in bulk, opposed to buying smaller bottles, maybe bottles like this size, okay? Now, if you're buying smaller bottles like this size, Liquid Barn still may be the one you want to go to, because they have the cool twist-off taps, tops. But, with that said, you can still get smaller bottles of Essential Depot on Amazon that are just as cheap if not cheaper for the same thing so that's not really a selling point because you could just get a bottle and put it a cap on yourself so i think what's going on here is you're really saving most of your money not necessarily on the vg you're saving your money because of shipping the shipping is what kills you when it comes to vg because it's heavy it weighs and when you're shipping things that's where all the costs are so now that we tested all that or as good as we could scientifically now what really is going to judge it is taste now these are both palm based vg there are other options like soy based vg but supposedly it's not as sweet and it doesn't taste as good when it comes to vaping so i'm not testing that so now it just pretty much comes to taste now if they taste both the same they both seem like the same consistency then I'm going to have to say go with the cheaper one, but I haven't tasted it yet. I have a freshly wicked RDA right here, and we're going to drip them both on, try them out. I know exactly how my Airhead recipe tastes. It's one of my favorite recipes at the moment, and yeah, we'll come to a conclusion. Okay, so the first one I'm going to drip is the one with liquid barn-based VG. None of these have nicotine in them because I figured for the test it wasn't really necessary. I just made two 10-milliliter batches. 
let's try this out. I'm gonna drip on it and we'll try it out. Okay, we're good to go. I dripped the Liquid Barn VG based airhead recipe. So that's this guy. Let's give it a try. Just gonna put the cap on. Here we go, guys. Chair, Liquid Barn. Mm. That's such a wonderful recipe. I already know what the Liquid Barn's gonna try like, but I want to do it back to back. To see if there really is a difference. Now this is a shake and vape recipe, so it's perfect for this. Mmm. Gotta love that airhead. If you haven't made it, my strawberry airhead recipe, make it up. You won't go wrong. Mm-mm. -mm. Good, good, good. Alright, so I tried that one. Now it's time to try the Essential Depot one. Let's see if there really is a difference. Okay guys, so I cleared the RDA. Now it's time to try the Essential Depot VG based airhead recipe. So that's this bad boy right here. This is the cheaper one. This is the one that's more controversial. Let's really see if it's not up to snuff with Liquid Barn or if it is. Yeah, drip it on. Drip it on up. Absorbing into the cotton nicely. It beads on the cotton just like the liquid one. So the consistency and everything is exactly the same. Now I'm going to put the cap on. Okay, here we go. Essential Depot. Cheers. Hmm. It tastes exactly the same. I don't see any difference. No consistency differences, nothing. All right, guys. I can now highly recommend Essential Depot. Let me tell you something. I love Liquid Barn to death, but they're not a big chemical company. They do a lot of different uh, flavors and VG. But this Essential Depot, I think they pr primarily deal with PG and VG. So, at least for the VG, if you're an Amazon Prime customer, you can get this for half the price if you're buying at gallons. Which I do suggest anybody who is in DIY, you're going to save a lot more money buying a gallon and then not having to worry about it a while than buying a whole bunch of little guys right here. Because you're going to use this up really quick. You just want to buy a gallon. So for twenty four ninety nine compared to fifty bucks after shipping, I think we have a clear winner here. Essential Depot is just fine. Now, if you do want this particular VG, the link is in the description below to Amazon.com. You can pick it up right away. The links to everything I use are down in the description below. But there is one last thing I want to explain when it comes to VG and you buying VG for your mixing. There is one thing that is frowned upon, and that's going to Walmart or like a CVS and getting VG over the shelf that way. That VG isn't usually pharmaceutical grade and kosher. That is usually more towards beauty and skin care. And what it is is the percentage of purity usually isn't as high as, say, the Essential Depot here or Liquid Barn. Like this is 99.7 pure. This is 99.7 pure at least, and the other ones are probably like 95% pure. But that little bit of purity makes the biggest difference in the world. It's not going to be as thick. It's not going to be as clean. That's why you want, you know, one of these guys right here. You, you don't want to go into the beauty section of your local department store and getting VG. I mean... If vaping ends up ending and times are tough and you can't get VG any other way, which probably won't ever happen, but if you ever have problems getting VG, then I would say maybe try it, but you're, you're going to want this. This guy right here, $24.99. I can't believe I didn't get it sooner. 
the only reason I ended up getting this one was because it was during a Black Friday sale, and that's why I picked that one up. But from now on, I am Essential Depot VG. There is literally no difference in taste. Doesn't look like there's any difference in consistency. So that's definitely my pick. So again, if you want this or anything I use, like my mixer or anything like that, links are down in the description below where I buy my flavors, my scale, everything. Get in the description down below. Also, if you're new here, subscribe so you can keep up to date with my latest com content and hit that bell so you can be notified. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or any requests, anything like that, leave it in the comments below and slap that like button. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have yourselves a great day. Peace. So, you guys like this video. That's awesome. I have some more great videos right up here. Maybe you should click on one and check it out. Well, why are you guys still sitting here? Click on a video. Here's some more stuff on making DIY e-liquid. And there's perhaps another playlist or my most recent video. Check that out. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Peace.